Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How would you define groove in music? Um, a groove is both uh, kind of the basic rhythmic pattern of a song and it's also the way of playing it. So when you say kind of this tune, uh, I'm going to have a swing groove. Uh, it's both kind of the basic swing pattern, but it's also a particular manner of, of playing that pattern. But of course, groove is also an experienced quality. So it's kind of it's when you when you listen to a groove, you exp if the groove is kind of poorly played, you don't experience it as groovy. Mm -hmm. A successful groove is when we experience groove as groovy, and that's more of an aesthetic quality. It's when you actually uh, succeed in doing and playing in in conveying the groove in the right uh, in the right way. Uh, and in music psychology, for example, this aesthetic quality has been defined as uh, uh, something or the, the, f the aspect of the groove that uh, makes you want to move. Mm -hmm. So it's when the, the groove induces uh, dance or, or bodily movement, that's, uh, that's when the groove is groovy. Mm -hmm. So you'd say that it's connected to, to movement? Yeah, groove is deeply connected to, to motion mm -hmm. movement, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But of course, when you, you don't need to move to a groove, you can listen, you can sit still and experience this, uh, this uh, quality. It's, it's, that's no problem, mm. but it's still connected to movement. Yeah. Yeah. I think when, when, when a groove is groovy, you actually, it makes you want to move. Uh, so uh, the experience of groove, I mean, from the, uh, from the, the perspective of the listener or, or the dancer, is when a groove really Wants, yeah, makes you want to move, mm -hmm. to get on, out on the dance floor and yeah, use your body. Mm. Your book about the uh, funk groove, so James Brown and Parliament, is called Presence and Pleasure. Could mm -hmm. you explain why? <laughs> <laughs> it's because uh, also, it's also because I think I thought it was a cool <laughs> title. Of course, <laughs> that's one aspect. But uh, now I, I think when you're when you're um, uh, kind of in this condition of being in the groove, that's an extreme experience of being present in the now, uh, in something that happens actually now. You're not, you're not worried about the past and the future, you're just in the situation, the things that happen. Mm. And that's, um, that's why I call it presence. Mm. Is this for the, similar for the, those that play? Or? Yeah, I, actually, I think that's uh, that's um, uh, kind of a premise for for being able to play uh, groove in the right way is to be extremely issues. focused on the on the moment and to. Uh, but I, I guess that goes for much music making. I mean, music <laughs> musicing in general, yeah. you have to be extremely present in the in the musicing now, so to speak. There. And the pleasure? Yeah. And the pleasure is linked to this presence because I think uh, it's also, of course, the, pr the pleasure produced by, by the fact that you're actually dancing or using your body, but it's, uh, um, uh, but it's also, I, I think this experience of being present in both in the body and in the now and in the music being kind of completely absorbed in, um, in the situation in the now mm -hmm. is, uh, is an experience that many kind of modern people long for because it's a it's a kind of experience that's um, uh, yeah it's rare in a way in the modern society mm. so is, it, is it problematic to use pleasure as a description of how you feel when you're listening to music no i don't think so <laughs> why but in why would you mean that it's in musicology is it really? uh, of course uh, yeah, yeah I, I see a point uh, because pleasure is often linked to it's a bodily experience or it's linked to it's kind of anti-rational or it could be seen as, uh, as something that kind of does not involve uh, uh, reason in a way but so I, but, but they, yeah, it's been linked to hedonistic uh, music cultures, mm -hmm. but uh, and of course, I mean, many dance cultures uh, have this aspect, but uh, but it's not necessarily a contradiction no. between feeling pleasure and being uh, sensible. <laughs> Thank you.